Do I really have to say anything about this match? Do I really have to say anything about it? Let's sum it up. First half, no Fenerbahce. There was no Fenerbahce playing. I'm so angry because they were sleeping a complete half. A complete half. Okay, you can say the 1-0 early goal conceded because of the referee. In my opinion, a clear foul on Ozan Tufan. And if you are giving this foul, there's no goal. Then, okay, the 2-0 penalty. I'm not sure. I think uh, Hassan Ali hit him. So that's okay. But the second goal, you know, a goal is changing a complete game. One goal, one goal. The first goal is changing a complete game and a complete game plan. Because you are getting into this match. You are getting into this match. You are flying to Monaco. You are having a game plan. Okay, Let, let's say something about Monaco. You are... I have no words. How can you say that the big Turkish nation, all Turks are violent? And that is the reason why no Fenerbahce fan is allowed to get into the stadium. That, that is racism, in my opinion. But the UEFA doesn't give a fuck about it. And you can see no racism. No racism. Every time in the advertisement with Gareth Bay Ronaldo say no to racism. UEFA, you are doing the complete different thing. If you are watching it, they won't watch it. They won't care about it. UEFA is shit. This wasn't even a, an official match. If you have a look at the ball, okay, this is the qualification. You can have the ball you ever want to have. It doesn't matter which brand. But there was no, what do you call it, free kick spray? The ref didn't have one. The ref has no brain. You could see it. Two clear penalties not given for Fenerbahce. Okay, the, the goal was maybe offside, but how can you give the goal for the first goal for Monaco, how can't you give us at least two penalties? A clear handball where Van der Wiel was going to bring in the cross and the second clear foul on Van der Wiel. Are you fucking kidding me? Then the third goal. First you don't have luck and then you're conceding such a lucky goal by Monaco. Really, I, I, I'm so pissed off. Then Emenike is hitting the bar. Because of these games, I, l I love my club, I love this game. I'm watching these matches and because of this shit, because of this stupid mafia, UEFA, I am losing at least 20 years of life experience. Or at least I can expect 20 years less. I, I don't even know what to say, I'm, I'm so pissed off man. I'm done. I, I don't know what to say. I, I have. I have. I don't want to go to the Europa League. To be true. To be honest, I have. I. I don't want to watch it. It fucks me up. I have no words. What do you think about this game? Let me know it in the comments. But I'm so pissed. I am so pissed. I don't know what to say. If you want to see the situations I'm talking about, what look at my Facebook page, look at, at Twitter, you can find everything. But for me, that's a shame. That's a shame. Of course, Fenerbahce, the team, has a part of it. The coach has a part of it. But if you have a game plan, you're get, going to Monaco. Okay, you know, we got this, this, this type of opponent. You are planning a game. You, you want to play like this. And the referee is fucking off everything after two minutes after two fucking minutes can you believe it i can't the season starts where it ended unfortunately we will see us next time hopefully i will bring another video this week because now there will be a break i don't even know how the UEFA Europa League draw or when it, it will be I have no idea 
because I didn't think about it because I was pretty sure after the performance in the first leg against Monaco and I expected a lot more than this and and now I can imagine that Robin van Persie is going to leave I don't know I, I, that's my feeling see you next time my friends peace